Hi there, here's Kakaku with the award-winning automated tree farm program for you. Uh, well, award-winning, maybe in the future, so far it won the poll I did with you guys and most of you voted for the tree, uh, for the tree farm. And I think it's a really useful program, especially in the, in the early game, uh, so you can easily get, yeah, thousands of wood, thousands of, of charcoal, and especially if you run much uh, many many turtles uh, then this is useful to to fuel them up so I think this was a good choice and okay what's in this video for 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 you first I will show you how to set up the turtle and how to make the turtle set up their own um, tree farm then we will watch the turtle doing all the hard work for us and chill in the sun and yeah doing this uh, i will give you some hints about how the program works so you understand uh, the yeah the movement of the turtle and well the the actual plant third part i will i will split this video into two parts uh, as i would like to keep this video here uh, rather short so i will do uh, in the next yeah few weeks or so uh, the second part uh, i already did some things for the for the time lapse i want to show you and the time lapse is kind of a content contest uh, between 12 different uh, tree types uh, where we see which tree type yields more after 2 hours okay then Let's get started. All right, so let's uh, start with uh, a yeah, short demonstration, maybe maybe a quick and dirty demonstration of how easy the program is uh, to to use to be used uh, if everything is already prepared. Uh, just to give you an impression that it's yeah not not really complicated. Give it some saplings one wood of the same type a chest in the last slot type in a tree farm and any parameter and where you place the turtle put a put a chest in the ground and that's actually everything and the rest does the turtle it plants trees will regularly check the tree uh, the trees if uh, and if they are grown the it harvests it and puts the materials in this chest so that's well the the minimum requirement but uh, I think it's also good uh, to give you a detailed explanation of and step-by-step -step explanation what you need to set, set up the first turtle and I prepared for this everything you need here uh, this materials you will need to set up the tree farm uh, this here we need for running the tree farm and well this actually is the, the turtle we need a crafty felling turtle uh, from my experience uh, a crafty mining turtle works as well uh, but well as the turtle fells trees I prefer the felling turtle I already as you see I already named the turtle and yeah where to put it uh, with F9 key uh, you see the chunk or uh, borders and I recommend to put it on the bottom left corner of a chunk because then the whole tree farm will be in this chunk here and uh, this makes it easier for you uh, to chunk load this area. So F9 again. So first we need of course the program and paste bin get it and the code we see already here the code I can just type it G J R J R R K five Q, and we call it a tree farm. 
okay and basically then we just run it um, to see uh, and to learn about the parameter uh, how to set up the tree farm a tree farm and it says okay farm set up uh, place crafty felling turtle down okay check each bottom left corner of the chunk yeah, as I just said run program with parameter setup one time for the farm setup and materials for the auto setup is in slot number three we need a chest uh, 47 yeah pavement stones let's call it this way and eight torches in slot number five Ooh, and enderman and well as we haven't started the program now with this setup parameter uh, I press Control and T to terminate it and start it again with the parameter setup so now the turtle knows okay I'm not in the normal tree farming mode I have first to set up the, the farm and we just press enter and and it checks oh there is no fuel not enough fuel I need about 2000 fuel units and please put it in slot 15 and I hope this works because this was one of the last yeah okay last bug fixes I did and yeah now the turtle sets up uh, yeah kind of a path for for itself and also puts uh, torches on places where later there will be no saplings placed and yeah this way I well I recommend this setup uh, but it's not necessary uh, mainly the the path is is interesting uh, when there later are much much trees there and maybe uh, you your your Minecraft crashes or so then the turtle ex uh, stops executing the program and with this path it's it's much easier to find it even if it's there yeah lots of trees and leaves and so on so probably I speed at this point a little bit up. Okay, now the turtle has set up the tree farm and we can go to the yeah, more important part, um, running the tree farm. And for this, we just started a tree farm without a parameter. Uh, then we get again first the setup information and with the second press uh, how to run the farm. Felling turtle sits above chest. Okay, already done. Uh, turtle needs some initial fuel. We already gave the turtle some fuel and it needs in the first slot saplings. A minimum I would recommend is 20. The absolute minimum uh, is, is 11. Uh, better is of course a full stack, then the uh, farm starts uh, much, much quicker, gets, uh, gets you some, some wood. Uh, the last 10 saplings are always reserved for replanting trees that the turtle has already harvested. So that's the reason here. And yeah, we need one wood from the sapling and a chest in slot number 16 and that's it we hit enter once more and then the turtle starts with round one uh, as you you and a mini here you live on a dangerous uh, derp, derp. oh that's loud any further here no um yeah we see the turtle first plants uh, uh, I have to sleep also uh, plants the saplings and it doesn't plant uh, yeah it, it does it in a kind of a random pattern uh, this is part of the balancing within the program uh, if you have only a few sapling then it's better to grow the trees not everything here at the in this one corner but to split it up so you get more leaves for, from the trees and with more leaves uh, the turtle may also get more new saplings generally uh, there are well so there's one random chance that the turtle goes down uh, all the other time it, it will just hover one block in the, uh, above and uh, you see here also there's a, a changing probability to do this every every time the turtle does something uh, successfully it increases the, the this probability a little bit and 
So this is to avoid when everywhere is already a sapling, then the turtle yeah, will be less successful in these tries and this will reduce the probability and yeah, this saves us actually some time um, because then the turtle doesn't have to check every time uh, for, for saplings. Uh, later probably you will see also uh, the second reason why the turtle goes sometimes down uh, due to the yeah, pattern the turtle harvests the trees and when two trees are growing uh, next to each uh, then when harvesting the tree the, you will see there is then a, a stump so one, one block left and the turtle sometimes checks also for those stumps left over from, from neighboring trees and will then also uh, replant those. Uh, maybe we have a short look here to the other turtle, but actually I, yeah, I will probably stop this later. But we see here uh, the turtle harvested also uh, raw rubber and we got, got the first wood here. Mm, probably I speed here the process a little bit up. Uh, so that you see the first trees growing and yeah we have then a look into the uh, pattern the tree turtle uses for cutting down the tree. Uh, as you've probably seen, the turtle checks every step it makes uh, to the left and to the right and whenever there is a block, then the turtle assumes, oh, this must be a tree, let's cut it down. And this means uh, when we are here in this, uh, the, the tree that has already grown, uh, then it will uh, harvest it. And for now, I guess there is nothing in it. So the turtle won't also won't uh, drop uh, stuff. Uh, also, at this point, after one round, uh, the turtle will refuel if it needs some some additional fuel. And uh, you will see this then when the turtle uh, puts an additional chest up uh, atop of it, uh, so it has can can yeah first stow stow away the the other materials before refueling. So here. We have got now then the first tree in a second. Okay, now the trees are coming, that's nice. Yeah, it cuts in and goes upwards and always getting additional leaves from your yeah, three sides. When it's reached the end, the turtle will change the, the column to be again back on the path and while cutting down also tries to get more leaves to get more saplings let's have a look okay we got two two saplings from from this and this means it can first of all replant this tree and has now one more sapling for for new planting new planting seeds like this one now the last 10 uh, usually it won't use the these 10 just for replanting. Uh, maybe at the next tree I show you something else. Uh, this program is, uh, yeah, you can use many, many uh, different wood types in it. Uh, so it's on, at, on some points it's a kind of a compromise. Uh, you will see it as the turtle does dig unt uh, yeah, until it reaches the end and then even one step more. This is uh, for, for jungle wood trees. Uh, so it's easier for the turtle to get those those uh, branches that jungle wood trees sometimes grow. Uh, so there is a, a small chance also to get the complete full jungle wood tree. But it's a little bit slower for the other trees. Um, maybe as I talk about yeah the the different tree types and the balancing, uh, there are in fact uh, yeah let's say two balancing factors uh, in there. Uh, the one with the probability I've already shown you. Uh, this means uh, it can make use of much saplings when planting much of them. 
And the other thing is uh, when the turtle detects that there are lots of these stumps left over, uh, maybe I provoke this thing with bone meal. Oh, I need bone, bone meal. Yeah, that's it when you're playing in survival. Uh, quick some bone meal. Just let's use uh, yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, so the turtle will also check for, for this, these stumps and the, the more it is successful, the, the often more often it will does this. And yeah. And it kind of balances it out. Uh, this means uh, it will work for slow growing trees, more or less like for, for fast growing trees. Then, oh, there are lots of trees. Uh, so now we see uh, that the turtle, well, also fells the neighboring tree, but it will leave over this thing here. Oh, I just collected a sapling. Uh, so this is not recommended uh, because then the chance for the turtle to pick up the sapling is, is smaller, of course, if you <laughs> take all the saplings. Uh, actually, uh, the turtle yeah, tries at many times in the program to suck in saplings, and you will see that the sapling will quickly disappear. And now it got the sapling, and now it falls down this tree, but it does not identify this as a grown-up tree. And that's uh, the thing I, I tried to explain with the, the removing stump uh, thing. It's getting, is it getting dark? Oh. It replants this thing but probably not the other one, yeah. Okay, I think this is everything I wanted to show you in this part of the video. As I said in the introduction, uh, there will be a second part uh, where I show you this, this tree growing contest contest yeah. and yeah and then we will see uh, yeah which trees of them are maybe a little bit better than the others or give additional materials this means for me I hope to I hope you have enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button if you like the program and or the video and yeah hope to see you soon and bye bye